ngelela banalele makhaya namhlanje ulwesithathu umhlaka 3 ku September ku 2021 sizofunda incwadi ebhalwe ngifundise u-Enoch Adeboye u-general overseer wa Redeemed Christian Church of God isihloko sanamhlanje sithi indawo ekhethekile yokuhlala nokusebenza kaNkulunkulu indawo ekhethekile yokuhlala nokusebenza kaNkulunkulu haleluya sifundo sethu sekhanda sitholakala encwadini yakwaba sekorinthe bokuqala u chapter 3 verse 16 abasekorinthe bokuqala u chapter 3 verse 16 yona efundeka kanje anazi yini ukuthi ni ithempeli likaNkulunkulu nokuthi umoya kaNkulunkulu uhlala kini na amen ncwadi esizoyifunda incwadi yaka yakwaba sekorinthe bokuqala u chapter 3 u verse 16 no 17 kwa base Korinthe bokuqala u chapter 3 u verse 16 to 17 nencwadi futhi sizofunda nezenzo u chapter 27 u verse 31 to 36 izenzo 27 verse 31 to 36 zifundeka kanjena anazi yini ukuthi ni ithempeli likaNkulunkulu nokuthi umoya kaNkulunkulu uhlala kini na uma umuntu echitha ithempeli likaNkulunkulu uNkulunkulu uyakumchitha yena ngokuba ithempeli likaNkulunkulu lingcwele ni yilo ke nina amen incwadi yezenzo u chapter 27 u verse 31 to 36 izenzo 27 u verse 31 to 36 ifundeka kanje Upaulu wathi enduneni yenkulu yasemabuthweni uma laba bengahlali emkhunjini ningesindiswe nina khona amabutho anquma amadoda eskhepeni asidedela sawa kwathi sekuzakusa upaulu wabancenga bonke ukuba badle wathi namuhla kulusuku lweshumi nane nilindile nihlezini zilile ningadli lutho ngalokho ngiyanincenga ukuba nihle ngokuba lokho kungokusinda kwenu akuyi kulahleka unwele lekhanda nokoyedwa phakathi kwenu eseshilo lokho wathatha isinkwa wabonga uNkulunkulu phambi kwabo bonke wasihlephula waqala ukudla basebema isibindi bonke badla nabo haleluya kulunkulu abusise ukufunda kwezwi lakhe ngegama lomfelo lo Jesu Kristo amen wonke umntwana kaNkulunkulu kufanele aphathe umcebo waphezulu okungumoya kaNkulunkulu nokuba singenzwanga eh, senziwe ngobumba bonke abantwana bakaNkulunkulu banamakhono angaphezu kwemvelo ngenxa yobukhona bukaNkulunkulu ongaphakathi kwabo haleluya uNkulunkulu angasebenza ngawo ukufeza nokwenza izinto ezinkulu emhlabeni ungalokothi uzithathele phansi uNkulunkulu angaguqula izimpilo zabantu imindeni amadolobha namazwe ngawe ngempilo yakho lokho akukho mayelana nomzimba wakho indlela obunjwe ngayo noma ubuhlakani bakho noma ubuhlakani pha kwakho ngiyapha kuqondene nojesu okhona empilweni yakho noma ungazibona umncane kangakanani uNkulunkulu angenza izinto ezinkulu ngempela ngempilo yakho funda incwadi ka Johanne u chapter 14 u verse 12 ngodi ka Johanne u chapter 12 14 u verse 12 haleluya Ingodi nezenzo u chapter 27 u verse 27 kufuya ku 44 izenzo 27 u verse 27 to 44 uPaul wayeboshi wayeyisiboshwa nje eskepe nezinye iziboshwa bemukiswa eRome kodwa kwathi lapho kuvela isivunguvungu esikhulu futhi kubonakala sengathi ukufa sekusondela wonke umuntu wayesemkhunjini wacela usizo ku Paul Upauli wakwazi ukholela wonke umuntu wasemkhunjini endaweni ephephile ngenxa yokuba khona kukajesu Kristu 
empilweni yakhe upawulo nawo ngaba umholi ophumelelayo ingaba uwe owethula isixazululo kuleso simo esisongela impilo yomuntu noma isongele yakho impilo ungalethi izinyembe zizenjabulo esikhundleni sezinyembe zizosizi kuba fowenu odada wenu noma womakhelwane uma nje ungabona ukuthi ubukhona bukaNkulunkulu empilweni yakho sebe kunike yonke imisebenzi emihle haleluya funda incwadi yesibini ka Timotheu u chapter 3 u verse 17 incwadi yesibini ka Timotheu u chapter 3 u verse 17 kodwa ke bancela khumbulani lokho kufanele sigcine izitsha zethu zihlanzekile uma sifuna uNkulunkulu wahlale phakathi kwethu noma asebenzise impilo zethu hlanza impilo yakho igcine ihlanzekile phila ngobungcwele funda incwadi yabasekorinthe besithathu u verse 16 le bekuyisifundo sekuphela siqale khona namhlanje incwadi ka Isaya u chapter 52 u verse 11 u Isaya 52 u verse 11 ithi mukani mukani niphume lapha ningathinti okungcolileyo niphume phakathi kwalo nizihlambulule nina eniphatha izitsha zika Jehova haleluya umphongolo ka Jehova wawusendlini ka Abedom izinyanga ezintathu futhi uNkulunkulu wambusisa kakhulu uma ufunda incwadi yesibini ka Samuel u chapter 6 u verse 10 to 11 ncwadi yesibini ka Samuel chapter 6 verse 10 to 11 indlu ka Abedom kufanele ukuba yayihlanzeke ngokwasemoyeni ukuba uNkulunkulu umphongolo ka uNkulunkulu umlethele yena nendlu yakhe izibusiso ngoba nguwo loyo mphongolo owabangela ubhadane ngenkathi ulethwa elizweni elaligcwele abantu abakhonza izithixo noba abakhonza izithombe Encwadini ka Samuel oqala u chapter 5 u verse 1 to 7. Ncwadi oqala ka Samuel u chapter 5 u verse 1 to 7. Ujesu Kristo uthembise ukuthi uzodla nanoma ubani omvumelayo ukuthi angene enhlizweni yakhe. Encwadini yesambulo u chapter 3 u verse 20. Isambulo u chapter 3 verse 20. Nempilo yalo yomuntu loyo izogcwala izimangalisi. Haleluya. Impilo yomuntu ovumele ujesu ukuthi adle naye. Umkhuleko wanamhlanje. Khuleka uthi baba, yenza impilo yami be indawo yakho ekhethekile yokuhlala neyokusebenzela. Ngicela ungisebenzise, wenze izimangaliso ngami ngegama lika Jesu Kristo owafa wavuka. Amen. Singakahambi ke siyakhunjuzwa ukuthi sifunde amabhayibheli wethu. Nabuhlanje sifunda incwadi yezaka u chapter 7. Incwadi yezaka u chapter 7. Ngiyabonga ke bancele, uNkulunkulu anibusise nibe nosuku lomnandi, siphinde sihlangane ngelanga ngelinye langa. Kose nibusise.